Yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah. I don't know. Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video, as you can tell by the title, is about how all my makeup brushes got stolen, about over $200 worth of makeup brushes. Yeah. If you didn't see my last video, um, me, my mum, dad, Ben, my boyfriend and auntie went to Queenstown. We went there, had a good time, watched the video if you want to see. But um, when we got there, got to the hotel, put all our stuff away and went straight up to the mountains and they went snowboarding and all that. So I didn't need my makeup or anything or check for it. So it wasn't until the next day that I went to get ready and got changed and over my suitcase and I went to do my makeup and I was like, okay, where's my brushes? So I went to get them. They weren't there. And I checked everywhere. I checked Ben's bag just in case I put it in his bag. And I was like, what? And then I remembered that I put my makeup brushes on top of all my clothes. So if I didn't see them as soon as I opened my bag, then obviously they've been stolen. And that's the first thing you'd see if someone did open my suitcase. They would see all those makeup brushes and be like, oh. Sweet, free makeup brushes for me, and then just took them. So, so that's pretty much, I think, what has happened because I don't know. It's just it sucks because it was a domestic flight, so I was going to Queenstown, which is in New Zealand, and something gets stolen for the first time. Like, you'd think you'd expect that to happen in international flights, maybe because I don't know. It's just more risky, I guess, but not in your own country. Like that just sucks. Like. To think someone actually th that works at your own airport would, I don't know, this is what I think anyway. That someone from the airport has checked my bags or something or opened it and because they were right on top of all my clothes and everything and I opened my bag and they weren't there and I've searched through the house and everything and they're not here so either the, someone in the hotel maybe cleaned, cleaned the hotel while we were gone and looked at my suitcase and and took them but I bawled my eyes out at the start it just sucks like half of those makeup brushes I got from the makeup school where I studied where I worked my ass off like and then they just get taken from you it's just fucking it's really shit and the rest was exo beauty ones that my mum bought me for Christmas that were like hundreds and then other ones that I've just built up over the time. It's, it's not just makeup brushes for me, it's my job. Like, my makeup brushes just got stolen. And I'm gonna have to buy heaps of brushes now. I mean, if I just liked doing makeup and a few br brushes got stolen, then okay, like, it's all right, I'll just buy some more. But it's my job, like, I do freelancing as a job. I was thinking about contacting them, but only contact the airport if something's been stolen within 24 hours or something, and it's been well over there. I just don't even want to bother. Like, what are they going to do? I don't know. I filmed this video in Queenstown the next day or the day of that I found out they were stolen. It was probably the next day because the day I found out I was so upset. So it was probably the next day. And I'll show you what brushes I used while I was in Queenstown. It was like four brushes and a sponge. That's all I used for my whole face. And some of you are probably like, what the hell is what I use every day? What are you talking about? But for me, that was hard. So here's the video from Queenstown. So these are the brushes I've been using because my um, brushes got stolen. Um, so I've been using my sponge for foundation and concealer and then big powder brush. And then I would use this just to powder under around my eyes and stuff. And then brows and then I would use this one for contour um, and blush, and then this one for highlight, and then this one for my brows as well, and then this one just for eyeshadow, so that's how it's been going lately. Um, I'll show a video on how I've been doing my makeup with just those brushes, um, but yeah. Just thought I would show you what I've been using. Pretty shit. 
So I just finished um, doing my makeup. And um, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show a video on how I have done my makeup with five brushes and a sponge. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't believe they were stolen. Like there's no way, they're not here, they're not at home. I called my sister and she said they're not there. So I can't think of anything else that, like where they could be. So I'm really, I'm pretty gutted. Hopefully we'll sort something out. Probably just have to get some new ones because I don't think there's much they can do about it. I probably won't put this video in the vlog because I want to keep the vlog on a positive note. So I'll probably check this in a different video where I talk about how the situation, about the whole situation and stuff. So, like my makeup didn't look too bad and it was like doable, but it still was just really hard. Like, I don't think it's actually processed yet. I don't think it's actually gone into my head that they're actually stolen. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just really, I, I would obviously rather my brushes be stolen than my actual makeup kit itself, like that's a lot harder to replace than brushes, I guess, but when you're a makeup artist and when it's your job, it's just, it's really crap. Yeah, I don't know, I think, yeah, I don't know. As soon as, as soon as me and Ben got home from Queenstown, we just got so sick, like runny nose and um, he got sick first and then passed on to me, which is what always happens. I think this is said in the video where I'm in Queenstown, but I want to do a video where I show you guys how I did my makeup with those brushes. Because um, I did it like pretty interesting, like how I said I used the foundation brush for highlight and stuff and it actually worked out pretty nicely. So um, I'll show you guys that in my next video. Um, but yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I'll do a video where I show you guys how I did my makeup. And then I've got some more news as well, some exciting news, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I know it was a pretty down buzz video, but I thought I'd just let y'all know. If you've been wondering why I haven't like posted makeup videos lately, that's the reason. I'll get back on top of it and buy some more brushes to replace my babies. I <laughs> hope you guys have a fantastic week or day or whatever time or whatever it is where you are. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm a girl.